Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a new episode of EVE Echoes. In today's episode, we will be touching a bit on the new AI mechanics and what to expect when the update reaches the live server. Remember, if you like what we're doing here, throw in a like and a subscribe, and don't forget about our YouTube channel membership in case you want to help with some donations. So what's new about NPCs? Well, it was announced that they would be getting bigger brains. Uh, NPCs will behave a lot more like players and will use their modules to the best of their abilities. This means NPCs micro warp driving all over the place and NPCs focused only on logistics. Yummy! But what's the current incarnation of this update? Well, we can observe some of it on the test server, but the feature is not yet fully functional, as stated by NetEase officials as well. We see the NPC ships using micro warp drive to close the range gap, which ultimately fail as they don't turn off their MWD and their guns can't keep tracking due to high speeds, turning them into a joke of an opponent. This really needs some fixing. Also, the NPC ship table and dynamics are not yet implemented properly, as we can see omens using remote repairs or blackbirds doing remote shield. What the hell? <laughs> One thing is for certain, even low level encounters, attention, normal encounters, not story missions, now contain usually at least one ship doing warp jamming on top of all the other bucket of electronic warfare, such as tracking disruption, missile disruption, target painters and sensor dampening. Not to mention the fact that all sites have now received additional spawn layers and will definitely take longer to complete. A nice addition though to the PvE system is the update on the mission rewards, now offering better chances of getting good items and the addition of blueprint cans for industry guys to start using the encounter system as one good source of blueprints. The encounter system is also receiving an update in terms of difficulty categories as the tech level ranges will be split even more, allowing people to farm them much better at their corresponding tier. While there's plenty of information visible, leading to the conclusion of the feature not being fully functional yet, one thing is for certain. Taking into consideration all the new assets being used by the NPCs and the warfare employed by these on the field, the story missions will cease to be doable in solo mode by the random you and me normal pilots. While some speculate that not being able to solo the high level story might lead to an actual decline of story items in fusion on the market and the prices going up for a change, the truth behind it is now higher grade PvE content will need to res revolve around fleets and story items in fusion will continue unhinged while the prices will remain low. So once the AI update hits, be sure to think twice maybe three times or thrice how it's called, before accepting it as a solo player, as it may lead to your unwanted demise. That's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. A very big shout out to my channel supporters. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.